Today I'll be talking about English cuisine. England is found in Western Europe and is part of the United Kingdom. To, no to the north of England is Scotland and to the west is Ireland and Wales. Across the North Sea to the east is Europe. During prehistoric times, England was home to many multi-ethnic tribes that were hunter-gatherers. They hunted native animals such as foxes and deer. The following years during the medieval times saw many invasions from several countries. One example in particular being the Roman conquest of Britain. The Romans during this time imported many new crops and animals into England. English settlement began in the late 18th century where many English convicts were sent to settle and farm in Australia. This initial population has increased over time to create a large portion of the Australian population. Uh, the staple crops of England are pig meats, beef, potatoes and wheat. Supplementary crops include mutton and goat meat, dairy products, fish and other seafood, not seafood. Common additives to food include curry and mustard. Typical English foods and meals include bubble and squeak, pie, tea with scones and biscuits and roast meats such as beef and pork with vegetables such as greens and potatoes uh, with things like Yorkshire pudding as well. Christianity is the predominant religion in England and because of this Christmas, Easter and Good Friday are special events celebrated in England by most people. Uh, Christmas involves uh, roast meals with roast beefs and porks with vegetables. Uh, Easter involves or can involve eating a lot of chocolate and Good Friday involves eating no meat. The United Kingdom produces less beef than Australia and also has a lower beef supply per capita than Australia. The United Kingdom has a slightly higher pig meat production than Australia and also has a higher supply per capita than Australia. The United Kingdom has a far lower marine fish production than Australia and this also applies to the supply per capita for marine fish. Wheat production in the United Kingdom is lower than Australia but because they import more wheat than Australia and Australia exports more wheat than the United Kingdom, the United Kingdom has a higher supply of wheat per capita. The United Kingdom also produce more potatoes than Australia and have a higher supply per capita.